welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to present my top 8 free video editors, which in alphabetical order are DaVinci Resolve, Flowblade, HitFilm Express, Caden Live, Lightworks, Olive, OpenShot and Shotcut. All of these are completely free, with no watermarks or time limits, and span a number of operating systems, as you can see in this list. Usually, in a video like this, I'd spend the same amount of time looking at each individual application. However, I thought it would be more useful to present in depth my choices for the top free pro editor, the top free visual effects editor, the top free editor for low end hardware, and finally, the top free editor for beginners after which I'll give a quick overview of the other packages. Right, let's start with this, DaVinci Resolve, which in my view is the best professional video editor you can get for free, and indeed one of the best professional video editors at any price. To get DaVinci Resolve you need to go to the Blackmagic Design website, where you can go to Products and DaVinci Resolve, Ignore the fact it says from $299 there, click on the Learn More and then Download and you'll discover there are two versions of DaVinci Resolve. And the free version is the version on the left, the version on the right is the paid version, DaVinci Resolve Studio. So to get the free version, you want to use the links here under DaVinci Resolve on the left. And as you can see, it's available for multiple platforms. Here I'll click on Windows, it takes you to a registration page where you fill in your details and click on Register and Download. So, if we go back to the package itself, you'll see it's based on a tabbed interface at the bottom of the screen, and the first tab is the Media tab, where you can take clips from your drives and pull them down into your media pool for use in editing. There's then the Edit tab, this is a traditional video editing view, we can uh, scrub our timeline here as you would do in, in other packages, we can uh, press the spacebar to actually play things through and that will work, so this is where you do most of your editing. But, as in any other video editor, it can be a bit difficult to navigate a timeline. You can always uh, scroll back and forth to get to different bits of your edit. You can zoom in and out as well if you wish to. But in DaVinci Resolve, there's also a tab to enable better navigation called the, uh, the Cut tab. And in the Cut tab, what we have at the top of the screen is the entire edit. You can always see the entire edit at the top of the screen. And you can use this to navigate around. So I could go over to here where there's some nice little boats on the screen go back to the main edit tab, will be at that part of the edit, go back over here again, maybe go back over, over there, uh, somewhere like that, and go back again to our uh, main edit, and again we've navigated around. So you can work very nicely across the edit and cut tabs. There's also the fusion tab where you can add lots of different special effects and compositing. Fusion is a standalone compositing and effects package from Blackmagic Design, but it's now been integrated also into DaVinci Resolve. There's then a colour tab. DaVinci Resolve started out as a colour correction programme, so hardly surprisingly there's masses of really, really good colour correction facilities here in DaVinci Resolve. There's then the Fairlight tab, which is the audio editing tab. If I just play things here, you'll see all the levels going up and down on the meters, and you can change all your audio levels and sort your audio out here in the Fairlight tab. So, finally, we've got the Deliver tab, which is where you create your final output. All sorts of presets and controls are available, including presets for uh, YouTube. And when you set things up, you just add your video to the render queue and click on Start Render. So there we are. This is DaVinci Resolve, a, a very good free video editor. The only real downside is that the package can be a bit overwhelming if you're new to video editing, and you do need quite beefy hardware to run DaVinci Resolve, which means in practice a quad-core processor or more ideally 16 gigabytes of RAM, and you will need a decent graphics card with ideally at least two gigabytes of graphics RAM. But if your computer will run DaVinci Resolve, you won't find a better free video editor. Right, let's now turn our attention to this package, which is a HitFilm Express which is my recommendation for the top free editor if you want to regularly produce visual effects. And that doesn't mean you can't produce visual effects in other free editing packages like, for example, DaVinci Resolve. And you can certainly use HitFilm Express for general video editing. It's a great free video editor, full stop. 
but as we'll see in a second, it's got particularly significant visual effects functionality. To obtain HipFilm Express, we need to head on over to uh, the website uh, fxhome.com. Go to the menu, you'll see HipFilm Express is there for free there. And if we click on that, and then we go to its download page, you might be surprised to see it initially comes up with a price here for £17 for me, and there's various packs available. And this is because HitFilm Express is free, but there's all sorts of add-ons you can buy, and which obviously they would like you to buy. But because this video is about HitFilm Express as a free video editor, I'm going to put the slider down to make the price zero, and from there you could click on download, create an account, and obtain the software. So, if we go back to the package itself, You'll see that unlike DaVinci Resolve, everything happens on the one screen. We've clearly got a timeline here. We can scrub through the timeline. I reproduce the same edit we were looking at in DaVinci Resolve. We've got a monitors up there. We've got a, a clip bin up here. If I go back over there, there's our, there's our media. And there's all sorts of effects we can put in. So it's a well-featured editor. It's very straightforward to use. And when we've finished creating an edit, we can go to export over here. Just click on export and it would come up and produce a file using the standard preset. And if you wish to change the presets, you've got them down here to actually select the default presets. So it's a very straightforward package to use. And as I said a minute ago, it's also got fantastic visual effects functionality because in HitFilm Express, you can create what's called a composite shot. And basically here, we've got one of those already in the edit. If I go over here, this shot here of me with that little caption coming up, that's actually a composite shot created in HitFilm Express. And it's actually the shot over here. This is a composite shot, which is built up in layers. You'll see there's a layer here, which is for the, uh, the caption there, which is on the top. There's a layer on the, on the base for the, uh, the background there. And there's a layer for me in the middle, which is clearly a layer there. And this is an effect shot because the actual footage there is green screen footage. If I turn off the green screen, you'll see that's the case. So this is building up this shot with the caption coming into its little thing like that. And in fact, the caption itself is also a composite shot over here, made up of three elements again, the two ends of the thing in the middle. And this is animated to do that bit, and then it's brought into the shot here to actually do the up down bit, as I call it. I've been doing these for many years, but that's how it works. And I really like the way you can work on layers in HitFilm Express. I do this sort of work in After Effects all the time, but if I couldn't use Adobe After Effects, my go-to package would definitely be HitFilm Express. In terms of uh, requirements, in terms of system specification, HitFilm Express requires a relatively powerful PC. That means a PC with at least four gigabytes of RAM, although you'll need eight gigabytes really to edit HD footage and 16 gigabytes to edit 4K. And you also need a graphics card in your PC to run HitFilm Express with at least one gigabyte of graphics RAM. So there we are, HitFilm Express, another fantastic free video editing application. Next, I thought we'd take a look at this program, Caden Live, which is a very solid and very capable free video editor. And I'm particularly highlighting Caden Live here as my top free video editor for use on lower end, on lower specification hardware. So if you want to do video editing on, say, a laptop without a graphics card, or you've got a PC with four gigabytes of RAM, maybe even two gigabytes of RAM, it's likely you'll be able to do some form of video editing in Caden Live, editing you wouldn't be able to do on some of the other packages I'm looking at here. And the reason that Caden Live is good for working on lower end hardware is partially because it's just efficiently written, but it's also because if you go to project and project settings, you can actually activate what's called proxy clips and generate proxy clips there. And this means the program will produce lower quality versions of your clips for using on the timeline, which are easier to edit. And then it'll revert to the full quality clips when it renders out your final files. Caden Live has got a website over here. Let's look at the website there. You can find out all about it over here. And for years and years, Caden Live has been a go-to free video editor on Linux. And indeed here, I'm running on the Linux Mint. But uh, for a couple of years now, Caden Live has also been available on Windows. So if we use the magic of filmmaking to transition across to uh, Windows 10, I can bring up Caden Live running here in uh, Windows 10. Exactly the same edit we were just looking at in uh, Linux Mint. I've just brought it across onto another operating system. If you're thinking things look a bit different, it's because a different theme is selected. Most video editors can have different themes. Here in settings, you can go into a color theme, and here we're obviously running a dark theme in the Windows, whereas we're running a light one in Linux. 
And the final thing to tell you is whilst everything runs just on one screen in the Caden Live nice and straightforwardly, when you come to render, you hit the render button up there, you can pick your format, you can have lots and lots of options to look at if you wish to and set everything to your heart's content, and then you click on a render file to produce your final video. Turning to the best free software for those new to video editing, I'm going to give you a couple of recommendations. The first of which is uh, this package, which is Shotcut, which you could obtain for its website over at shotcut.org, where it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And if we go back to the package itself, you'll see it's a nice, straightforward program to use. Everything takes place on, on the one screen, and you can uh, work through the timeline as you can in, in other packages very easy to change things like transitions just by dragging them in the timeline. And when you're ready to export your final film, you just click on export, brings up the requester, export file, and you can save and output your final file. So Shotcut is a nice video editing package for beginners. Alternatively, you might want to consider this package, OpenShot, available from openshot.org, where again you can get it for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And if we go back to the package itself, I think you can see the interface is very straightforward. If all you want to do is to bring in a few clips and to make a simple edit, maybe add a few transitions, then OpenShot is, is a good place to start. And when you've finished, all you have to do is to press on the button up here to uh, export your video in whatever particular resolution and uh, format you happen to choose. This said, it's worth making the point that both the shortcut and OpenShot, whilst they work, they are straightforward to get into, they don't give you as fluid an editing experience as the free packages HitFilm Express and Caden Live that we've, we've just been looking at. And therefore, if you are new to video editing, it might be worth thinking about going for a slightly more advanced package like that, like for example HitFilm Express or Caden Live, because it'll give you a lot more opportunities to, to advance and just have a better editing experience. So, I just thought we'd take a look at the other free video editing packages on my list. And because some of these are Linux only, here we are in a Linux Mint. But in fact, the first package I want to show you is Lightworks, which is available for a Mac and for Windows and for Linux, so it's full platform. And it's a very powerful package, is Lightworks. It's got a slightly different workflow to the other packages here. It takes a bit of getting used to how you actually use the thing. But when you are used to it, you can edit very quickly and very powerfully in Lightworks. The reason though it's not more prominent in this list can be seen if we look at it. it's a web page, which is uh, down here. Here's a comparison of the uh, free version of Lightworks with the paid versions. And the free version of Lightworks is limited because of its export formats. And specifically, it can't output video at more than 720p, which is why it's not one of my top ranked free video editors. Another package I've looked at in Linux is this one, which is a Flowblade. This is Linux only. You can find out more about it on its website uh, over here. As it says, fast, precise, and stable. And certainly it is a, a stable and nicely written package as far as I can see. But uh, that said, I've struggled to really get the logic of it in, in my head. It doesn't edit the way I'm used to editing. And in particular, I found it very difficult to add in cross dissolves. You can't keyframe opacity here. There are tools for adding in cross dissolves, but I couldn't get them to work for me. But of course, they might work for you. It might just be my way of working is a problem here. So if you're a Linux user, you might want to check out Flowblade. Another package well worth a mention is this one, which is the Olive Video Editor, which has a website uh, over here. And uh, if we look at the download section here, you'll see it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. But it's only in version 0 0.1. This is very much still in alpha. This said, what I've seen of this so far is very impressive. I very much like what they're doing with the Olive Video Editor. So this is one I think very much to keep an eye on. And I have to admit, I found it very easy to use, very easy to put in those across to dolls like we see playing there. So if you want to try out something new, something up and coming, I'd very much recommend taking a look at the Olive Video Editor. So there we are, my top eight free video editors 2020. Other free editors do exist, such as VSDC, which is feature rich but has a rather cumbersome interface, and Avid Media Composer First, which is great if you want to learn the industry standard Avid Editor, but I wouldn't recommend in other circumstances. 
If you are downloading free software, please do take care. Make sure you only download packages from trusted sources. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon. Oh,